Hello, wonderful second grade families. My name is Mrs. Estopinal and I teach second grade here at Inland Leaders Charter School. Um, this video is going to be going out to students in my class as well as students in Mrs. Kingsley's hybrid class. Um, I'm gonna be working closely with Mrs. Kingsley this year um, to help with the new hybrid program. And so um, I get the honor of presenting some parts of this program for distance learning to you this evening. So with that said, I'm gonna jump right into our presentation. Um, so let's go here, sorry. <laughs> so like I said, this is the back to school night for both my class, Mrs. Estopinal's, as well as Mrs. Kingsley's. Um, a quick few things about me. This will be my 11th year teaching at Inland Leaders Charter School. Uh, when I started here, I taught second, took a little bit of time um, and taught independent study when my kiddos were younger and then got to come back to the second grade classroom about two years ago. I received my bachelor's degree from Point Loma Nazarene University and my teaching credential from Azusa Pacific University. I live in Yucaipa with my husband Ryan and my two children who also attend ILCS. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to this being a fantastic year. A little bit about Mrs. Kingsley and she'll introduce herself to those in her hybrid program a little bit more but this is her third year teaching at ILCS. She received her teaching credential from Cal State and she lives in Yucaipa with her husband Frank and her four children Bella, Olivia, Carson, and Max. All right, jumping right into the thick of things, this is going to be our daily schedule for second grade. So from eight to 810, um, we're going to be having a morning meeting. This is an opportunity for me as your teacher or Mrs. Kingsley's um, as the hybrid teacher to take role, um, and attendance and to just kind of do some of that social emotional learning to check in with students. So every morning from 8 to 810, um, we will be meeting for those sorts of just kind of classroom um, things. You'll notice that that block of time is in teal. And so any of the blocks of time that are in teal are actually mandatory Zoom meetings. In the spring, Zoom um, was oftentimes left up to parent discretion whether or not your child joined. It was considered more optional. Um, starting now in the fall this year, there are going to be mandatory times that your child attends a Zoom session. So 8 to 8.10 is one of those times. And then we're going to keep your kiddo on Zoom from 8.10 to 8.30 um, for language arts mini lesson. And that's going to vary by day. So some days it may be focusing on a comprehension strategy. Some days we may be going over a grammar lesson or a vocab or writing. Um, but for that 20, for that next 20 minutes, we're going to be doing some direct live instruction for language arts. From 8.30 to 9.30, we have centers and reading groups. And you'll notice reading groups is highlighted in yellow. And that's so you know that your child's um, assigned reading group is going to be a mandatory Zoom lesson as well. But your child's only going to have to attend that one day a week. Our reading groups are gonna go from 8.30 to nine o'clock. So let's say that I have a student and I reach out to you and I say, um, and their reading group is on Wednesday. That means just on Wednesday, they're gonna stay with me on Zoom from 8.30 to nine, and we're going to have a guided reading group with them and a few of their peers. So um, those will not be determined until we do some beginning of the year assessments. Uh, so the first couple of weeks, I may say, hey, your child's reading group day is on Monday because I just need to assess them and see where they're at. And then after I finish my assessments, I may be switching some of the days around so that way I can um, teach your child um, in a group that's going to be best for them. And then from 10 to 10.30, or excuse me, 9.30 to 10, we have a writing mini lesson. Those will often be videos. 10 to 10.30, uh, we scheduled in a recess break. It's going to be important that your kiddo has some downtime, time to run around outside, time to just move and get their brain going again, eat a snack, to, you know, just like we normally do in the classroom, they have recess. We wanted to make sure that we scheduled some time in there for you for that. 10.30 to 11 is our science to leadership block. Um, those will typically be video lessons as well. 11 to 11.30 is another mandatory block of time and that's for our math lesson. So each day we're gonna go through our topic lesson um, and the kiddos need to be on there for that direct instruction. Then you'll notice from 11.30 to 12, it says independent practice and optional support. I will continue to be on Zoom, or Mrs. Kingsley will continue to be on Zoom um, from 11.30 to 12. So that is if 
your kiddo finishes the lesson and they feel like I've got this Mrs. Istopinol, I will let them log off on Zoom and they can continue to do independent practice offline. If they're still not so sure, or I think that they just need a couple more questions with me based on my own quick assessments, then I'm gonna ask them to stay on or allow them to stay on for some of that optional support. And we're gonna continue to work together until they are confident they've got it and I'm confident they've got it. And then from 12 to 12.30 is their quick check. The quick check is something that's done through the Pearson um, online system. And your kiddo will have all the username links and passwords that they need for that. Um, coming home with them in a yellow work folder, but they'll log into Pearson and they'll take a five question assessment. And the biggest thing I can say about the quick check is uh, please do not help your child with it. It is considered a short daily assessment. It's a way for me to see if they understood the lesson or not. So if you're supporting them and it looks like they've got it, I may move on. But if they're taking it independently and I can tell that, ooh, this thing for some reason just didn't seem to quite stick, then I can plan time to reteach that. I can plan time to support that in some other way. So the quick check is really a way for me to be able to see, are they understanding what's being taught or do we need a little bit more practice with it? And then um, extra math is a way for your child to practice their math facts. In second grade, we do a lot with addition and subtraction. And the better and the quicker your child is with their addition and subtraction facts, the easier their math will be this year. And so we spend daily um, practice time daily practicing those math facts and we use extra math which is a program that will take them through their addition facts and time them on them and their subtraction facts but the kiddos get to go at their own rate. Uh, 1230 to 1 is independent reading. It's an opportunity for your kiddo to grab a book that they love, find one in one of our online resources and just really sit with reading. Honestly one of the best things you can do is keep having your child read, read, read. It makes all the difference in the world. So that's kind of a quick rundown of our schedule. This will be posted on our website and I'll show you where later. Um, so you'll always have access to this schedule if you need to remember. Um, it is also the mandatory meeting times will be listed in their Google Classroom as well. Um, for those in Mrs. Kingsley's hybrid class. So my students, if you are in my class, Mrs. Estopanel's class, you will be meeting with me every single day of the week. <laughs> you just get me. If you are in Mrs. Kingsley's hybrid class, um, you'll be meeting with me two days a week, and that's on Monday and Wednesday for the live instruction. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, our class size online is gonna be a little bit larger. Um, and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you will meet with Mrs. Kingsley for live instruction and it will just be me with my class. So my kiddos, every single day with me, five days a week, the link is in our Google Classroom. Mrs. Kingsley's kiddos, I get the honor of seeing you two days a week on Monday and Wednesday for live instruction. Uh, specials like PE and Spanish are not going to be listed on your Google Classroom assignments right now. The plan is to resume them when we, when or if, I should say, we return to campus. If distance learning goes on for quite some time, um, it's possible we'll start to bring those back um, prior to actually going back into the class. Lunch will still be continued to be distributed, so be looking out for the parent square messages on that. Um, we're still following our Aurora expectations. These are things that your kiddos should be super familiar with because they did them in kinder as well as in first grade. And then online Zoom expectations, these might look a little different than they did in the spring. Um, and it's because, again, in the spring, we were kind of in crisis mode, we were working through things, but now that we're back in the fall, we're better prepared for distance learning, we wanna make sure that the time we have with your kiddos online is protected. And so these are just some things that are gonna help us protect that time with them. Um, one, make sure that their mute is on. Make sure that they're in a place with the TV off basically removing distractions. Make sure that they don't have any toys with them. Um, sometimes kiddos wanted to sit with a stuffed animal or things like that. And it seems like that wouldn't be too distracting, but you'd be surprised at how, you know, one kiddo's holding something and then another one wants to know what it is and so on and so forth. And since we have such limited time with them online and we really wanna make the most out of that, we're just really asking again for your support and making it a distraction free time. So no TV, no toys. The dress code, um, we're not going to be sticklers on the dress to success dress code, but we are asking that your child is ready for the day. So no costumes, no pajamas. They've gotten up, they've gotten ready. They, um, one of the eight key strategies we're going to be covering is who showed up today. We want to make sure that the kiddo that shows up to our Zoom lessons is one that is ready to learn. And being dressed is part of being ready 
to learn. Um, make sure that the camera is on. I'm going to need to see your kid because we're going to be interacting and talking through things and they're going to be showing me things that they're learning. Um, and they're going to need to interact with one another. So cameras must be on at all times. No eating. Um, I understand 8 a.m. is early. Please make sure they get breakfast before we meet and that they wait for snacks until after we're off our live instruction. There is that chunk in the middle of the day between our 8 a.m. live instruction and our 11 o'clock live instruction that hopefully gives you, hopefully gives you plenty of time to um, eat lunch, get snacks. And so we just ask that during Zoom, no one's eating. Again, it's about limiting the distractions. Um, quiet space be on time. We, we have those specific times in there and we have to move on to different things throughout the day. So please make sure your kiddo is prompt to that. So 8 a.m. in the morning, 11 o'clock um, later on in the day for math. And then uh, raise your hand, be kind, be prepared. Those are all just kind of things that I'll be talking with your kiddos. We're, those are expectations in the classroom to be respectful with one another. Those same expectations are gonna remain even though our classroom is online for right now. Uh, field trips are currently on hold. Um, it's possible they'll be revisited in January. Volunteers. Um, obviously during distance learning, volunteering looks very different, um, but our activities director would still like to know if anyone is interested in being a room mom if we happen to return to um, the class at some point. So if that is something you might be interested in, please reach out to me if you're in my class or Mrs. Kingsley if you are in her hybrid class. Um, stay connected. The second grade website is going to be a fantastic place for you as parents to find information that you're going to need. Um, Google Classroom is going to be excellent for your students to know what's expected of them throughout the week. Seesaw is where they'll actually be turning in the majority of their assignments. And then Parent Square and email are great ways to get in contact with me. Um, Google Classroom will be updated weekly, and that's to give you the opportunity to kind of plan out your week, make sure that you have everything ready. Um, we're trying to help parents who may be working on tighter schedules or kiddos may be in one house and then another. We're trying to give you the opportunity to see what's coming up for that week, but please be aware that um, it's different than in spring where you could turn in things kind of whenever or all in one lump sum. Um, if something was assigned on Monday, it won't be available for them to turn in on Seesaw until Monday. If something's assigned on Tuesday, they'll have to turn it in on Tuesday. So um, on Seesaw, assignments will pop up daily. They will match the assignments on Google Classroom. It'll just be the place where you turn it in. But Google Classroom, you'll be able to kind of use to plan out. We'll update that on a week by week basis, Seesaw, those assignments will appear daily for you to actually, for your child to actually snap the picture and then turn it in for, to me or Mrs. Kingsley. Um, okay, I'm gonna come back to the question slide actually. So I'm gonna stop sharing for just a second. I'm gonna take you to our website, go over quickly kind of some of the resources you'll find there, jump onto Google Classroom and last show you the things we're gonna be passing out later this week. So let me share a different screen with you. This is our second grade website. This is gonna be really the place for you as a parent to find the most information. So um, we have an announcement page. Anything you need to know coming up for that week will be updated here and we typically update update the website every Friday. This week is a quick overview of what's going on this week. So if you're wondering, what are we learning in grammar this week? Here's where you can see it. You're not gonna see specific assignments, but you will get to see like our main focus for grammar is nouns. Our main focus for you know, spelling is digraphs, whatever that may be. Um, daily schedule, we have that I covered with you earlier. This is where you would find it under the daily schedule tab. Frequently asked questions are all um, things that we've gotten asked um, numerous times and so we thought we'd have here just kind of as a resource bank. We continually add to this as we find that there's questions that need to be answered. Um, one of the things I wanna draw your attention to is can my student take an AR quiz? In the spring, they had to sign up for a proctor. Now in the fall, starting this year, your child can just log in at home anytime from the hours of eight to 6 p.m excuse me, 8 a.m. in the morning <laughs> to 6 p.m. in the evening, they can log in and take it. So the instructions on how to do that are listed on our Frequently Asked Questions page. Links and files are links to any possible website we might use during distance learning or at all in second grade, along with class codes if needed. But don't worry, your child's specific login information will be listed in their yellow work folder on their username and password page. One thing I wanna draw your attention to here really quickly though, is we do have an AR library of books connected to our Epic account. So if you click on that link, it's going to bring you to an online library. 
And after your child retakes their STAR test and your teacher informs you of what their STAR reading level is, um, you can actually come here and find level books. So let's say they take the STAR test, they get a 2.2, which stands for second grade, second month. They can click on this basket and it's going to open them up to a library of books at their level. And they can have some read to them, they can read some of them on their own. So that is, um, that is our, just a resource for you to have. Um, back to this, there is a remote learning supplies page. And so these are just some suggested materials that you have at home for your kiddo. They're pretty basic. Any specific materials we'll be passing out to you um, on Thursday and Friday of this week. And then um, that kind of wraps up our website. So I'm going to switch gears over here really quick to Google Classroom. Um, Mrs. Kingsley's classroom is going to be set up exactly the same way as mine. You're just going to have a different picture up here to start with. So um, for your child to find what work they need to complete for the week, they're going to go to their classwork tab. You'll see that our daily Zoom link is right up here at the top. So again, my class, you only have one Zoom link here because you're meeting with me every single day of the week. On Mrs. Kingsley's um, hybrid class, she has two links, one for her and one for my class. So remember those two days a week that you're kind of pushing into my online class, um, you'll follow that link so you can join us. Um, this is just a quick sample of what you're going to kind of see. It'll be organized this way. You'll see tabs like centers, writing, math, so you'll know what your kiddos are doing for each of these. Please, please, please make sure, I know sometimes it seems like a lot, that you read the directions carefully. We try our very best to be as specific as we can in those, and I know they can get wordy, um, but it helps you to understand really what the expectation is there. Centers is probably going to be the one that gets a little bit topsy-turvy because because um, you're gonna have four days of centers a week. One day will be with me. The other three, we wanna allow your child a little bit of choice in what they do. So we've given you three other activities. So one day with me or Mrs. Kingsley, three other days where they're choosing to do either a nonfiction um, notebook page, a fiction notebook page, or a scholastic news. And so those are all there on Monday. They'll all be there on Tuesday, but your child just chooses one per day and does it. So by the end of the week, they've done all four. Um, and then we, like I said, writing will be there, math will be there. If we have science and social studies leadership, all of those will be added here as well. Most things are going to be turned in on Seesaw. So you'll see the assignment on Google Classroom, you'll turn it in on Seesaw, with the exception of some of our Friday assessments. Those might be coming to you or coming to your child in Google Forms, in which case those will be completed on Google and then we'll grade them that way. Um, all right, that being said, I'm going to stop sharing, just briefly show you what you're taking home with you when you come um, to supply pickup. First thing is the yellow work folder. I mentioned this. This front page is all your usernames and passwords. And then there is some math um, support sheets and some writing support sheets. So yellow work folder, this is going to become one of your best friends because, again, that username and password sheet, password sheet is in there. Um, you're going to get a red reading notebook. This red reading notebook is where all of your comprehension lessons, you're going to be pulling this and using it during center time, is in here. And then in this red reading notebook, you're going to get a red reading copy folder. And in here is the copies for the first trimester. So each week um, during centers, we're going to have two, post, two pages posted. Those pages will also be here already printed for you. Your child will put them into their red reading notebook, complete them, snap a picture and upload it to Seesaw. That's how we're gonna know that they're done. Um, we were trying to save you from having to print or copy anything on your own. So um, we started with just the first trimester since we're not exactly sure how long distance learning is going to go. If it doesn't go the full time, they'll come back to class and bring the copies and we'll continue with it here. If it goes longer, then we'll probably have a second pickup day for those. Um, next, they're going to get a blue writing notebook. All of their writing assignments will be completed in this notebook because they'll refer to them throughout the year. Um, and then again, anytime they do something for writing, they'll snap a picture, upload it to Seesaw. Grammar notebook, same thing, except for this one, we have some copies for them again. So grammar no green grammar notebook, green grammar copy folder. The first thing that we're going to do with grammar, I think it's the second week we start this, is nouns. So here's their noun page. They'll cut it out, glue it in their notebook, complete it, snap a picture, and upload it to Seesaw. So that way I can see that it is done. And then last, well, not last, you have your uh, purple vocabulary folder. These do not have a notebook to go with it because they're um, essentially worksheets 
and they're gonna fill these out with, I'll give you better instructions when we get to it, but they'll fill it out, snap a picture of that, and upload it to Seesaw. Um, next, you're gonna get both of their math books. So all the daily math lesson pages will be found in one of these two books. And then I'm also going to be sending home with you a math manipulative bag. In this bag is any math manipulatives that they might need for our lessons. Okay, so I know that was a ton of information. I'm going to share my screen really quickly one more time. Back to this presentation. Oops, um, there we go. So I will be hosting a live Q&A Zoom session on Wednesday, August 12th. Session one will be from 6 to 6.30. Session two will be from 6.30 to 7. My class will get my Zoom link and um, you'll have the opportunity to meet with me in one of those half hour blocks um, with other parents who come at that time. And I'll be, do my best to answer any questions you may not have had answered through this video or our website, um, or just to say hello, since um, we don't get to do our typical back to school night meeting. So I will be sending out that link in the Parent Square message that you received this video in. Mrs. Kingsley's Q&A is going to be a little different. She She's just going to have one session for her second grade hybrid kiddos, and that's from 6.30 to 7. And that link will be included in the Parent Square message you receive from her. Um, that being said, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. I know that this year may not be what any of us were hoping for or planning for, um, but I know that together we can still make it one of the best years yet. I consider it an honor that I get to teach your kiddos and I hope that you know that you can always reach out to me with questions or concerns. Um, it's going to be a great year. I hope you have a wonderful evening.